Hi, this is John Doe, aka Frags with the DNB Academy, and welcome to another sound recreation video. For this one, we got this banger. Uh, it's a remix. Um, the original tune is from Break, and it's called Headshot, and it's being remixed by Alibi. It's a really, really good tune, and we gotta be focusing on the main bass on this one. Uh, the, the, the really cool Fanish kind of bass we got going on here. Uh, so yeah, let's take a listen to the original and I'll show you what I've done with it later. So yeah, this is it. And this is how it sounds with our bass on top. So yeah. Let's go over all the details, flip the screen into Serum, and I'll show you everything. As you might have noticed, this bass resolves a lot around movement, okay? So we're gonna be focusing a lot on creating like a really concise and really sort of precise shape here, which is not gonna be easy. Uh, but then the rest, it's based on like fundamental sound design uh, that uh, most of you might be familiar with. So yeah, let's start going into it. First things first, we need to set our first um, oscillator here, and we're gonna go with basic shapes and sine wave, all right? Bring the random phase all the way down and get the FM from B function turned on, all right? It's, uh, we're not gonna be boosting it up uh, just now, but um, we need to keep it there, okay? Then we're gonna go into the, our, our wavetable editor here, and we're gonna add our second harmonic here. We're gonna click on this wave to FFT thing, so we can just boost it up here on the main harmonic, and then we're gonna add the second one here, okay? Uh, I mean the third one. So we have this sort of sound, and we're gonna close it. Uh, bring it this down to three, negative three octave, so we can have the sub, right? So it's the fundamental part, it's kind of there already, right? So now we need to choose something that's gonna add, um, that um, we need to feed our FM uh, that we just added here, so we can have some more movement and also more harmonic content. So we're gonna go here, turn the oscillator B, and choose the harmonic morph wavetable, all right? I'm gonna choose the warp and set this to band negative plus, and set this all the way to 100% here, um, so we can just, you know, later on automate this. Okay, and on the wave table position, I'm gonna set this to 123, okay? We get something like this. But now we're gonna bring the level down because we don't actually wanna hear it. We just wanna fit it to our wave table, uh, to our oscillator A, I mean. And then we're gonna bring down the random phase as well because we wanna keep this kind of concise. So let's hear how it sounds with our FM up now. All right, we already have a little bit more of that character, okay, but we need loads of filtering now. And that's the part where we kind of start, we need to start thinking about getting that shape together. And since it's kind of like a complex shape, uh, I'm gonna draw it here to save you some time here, just watching me n n doodle around this. And I'm gonna come back here with the shape already done and I'll show you how it looks like. So now I got the shape pretty much there, all right? I feel like it's um, as close as it can be to the original. We could tweak it still uh, some spots here and there, but this is pretty much how it looks like, okay? You can increase a little bit of the, um, of the grid first, just leave it at 16, because it helps. There's like the in-between bars that you can get this close, because break doesn't really, or alibi in this case, uh, doesn't really follow the grid per se, so you need to kind of, you know, get in there and try to see how it sounds um, with just a little bit of a tweak here and there, okay? So now that we have our shape, uh, it's, it's time for us to start filtering this up, all right? So we're gonna turn on the filter, get this to MG low 24, it's like the highest slope we can get uh, with the low pass here. And we're gonna sign the LFO, set this to polar, and bring it down all the way to the beginning, and then set this around like 60, 70%, all right? Now, after we set this, uh, the other thing we need to do is actually choose the right braid here. And I found out that like four bar is enough uh, because it's actually the length uh, that we need to kind of fulfill here. So it's like, it, it's good because we're not taking advantage of the whole thing here. So we're just doing this in order to get more detail on the drawing, all right? So this is how it's starting to sound. 
can already hear uh, some of the original kind of content going on there. So now we can assign the LFO also to the RFM and we're gonna keep it like reaching up to like 50% there in the middle. So we just have a little bit of a movement like, we don't want much. Just want to add this little bit here, okay? Now let's bring the fat here on the, on the filter. Ooh. Also the drive a little bit. Nice, it's decent, decent. Uh, just before moving into the effects, because that's where most of the things gonna happen, uh, we're gonna bring up the level of our oscillator A. That's the, the one we kinda wanna highlight, all right? So now, as I said, I think we're good on this part. Let's move into the FX tab of Serum to get some more details uh, down there. All right, so for this one, I decided to go first with hyperdimension. So I need to wind this up because we need that width since we're like kind of like just using one voice. I'm gonna leave this to 7% and this 4% here. We can take care of some of the low end stereo that this might bring later. Then we're gonna turn on the distortion, leave it in tube and crank it kind of like not all the way up there, but almost. So you see, that's kind of what we're, we're trying to get. Like starting to get this harmonics kind of angry. Now let's add a little bit of chorus. Okay, high pass filter, bring it down 350 Hertz. The chorus here, we're also gonna bring it down just a little bit, like 25% and we're good, okay? Now a really important part is to get some EQ going because we need to kind of like clean the sound a little bit. So I'm gonna take advantage of this EQ and I'm gonna make this into a notch, set this around 500 Hertz, right? Somewhere around here. I'm gonna bring this down like quite a lot. Say like negative 21. But you see there's, it's cleaner because we're getting those dirty mids out of the way. And now with all the effects, it leaves me a bit of room to, you know, crank the volume up a bit on the master. Nice. So on the effects tab of Serum, I think we're pretty much there, all right? We can come back here just for further details later down the road, but now let's go back to our pad just to tweak a few things here and there before moving into more processing. To wrap it up, to put cherry on top of the cake, we can add a little bit of noise, all right? So we're gonna come here to the analog and to the either ARP white or bright white, some like white noisy uh, kind of texture. So we create this like really cool, you know, noise so the distortion picks up on it, makes it way more interesting. And you can clearly hear that break does this on this tune or alibi in this case. Let's set it somewhere around here, I think we're good. Okay. And now let's process this outside of Serum with just a couple of plugins to make all these things uh, come up to the top. All right. The first plugin you're gonna add is a little bit of isotope trash too. Uh, you could use any other distortion unit as long as it has a little bit of wave shaping because that's what we're gonna do. Uh, if you listen to the sound, we're just gonna be like warming it up with wave shaping here. Like, we shouldn't do that much. Like, this is enough. All right. And now it's kind of like, we need to clean this up. It's a little bit dirty. And I, I, I would say that uh, some clinical EQ would do the trick. So let's load in an instance of Pro-Q and let's start going harmonic by harmonic and trying to get our bass to sound way cleaner than what it is at this point, all right? So first things first, we're gonna notch down the mids again because the, the Wave Shaper uh, just like crank them up again. So we need to make sure that this section here, like 500, it's cleaner. Nice. And also you see this movement here on the second harmonic is just a bit too much. So we're gonna just control this, but we don't want it to be that, that stale. So I'm gonna add a little bit of dynamic EQ in here. So this way we can duck it down on the peaks. 
Right, the same thing goes here, like it goes a bit too hard sometimes. So let's just control this with some dynamic. So let's set this one to dynamic. Let's tweak it like this. And now let's control a little bit of the tops, just a little bit, because it's too much at some point. And also boost this part. These harmonics are important, especially for the higher part of the sound. Let's see. It adds quite a bit. Let's keep it like this. And I think we're pretty much there, guys. So let's take a listen and see how this sounds on top of the original. So yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.